All right, so let's talk about building a website. There are tons of different ways to build a website, but for this module, we're just gonna talk about WordPress because a huge amount of the web, actually over 25%, are built on WordPress websites, and so that's what we're gonna talk about for the purposes of this section. So there's a difference between WordPress.com and WordPress.org. So WordPress.org is an actual website that you own that is operating the WordPress.org CMS. So it's a piece of software that gets downloaded and then uploaded to your website. Conversely, WordPress.com is actually running websites that are all running on their servers. So instead of your website being on your own hosting solution and you know nytimes.com, it might be something like nytimes.wordpress.com. So it is gonna be a free solution, the WordPress.com is, but you will have advertisements and you won't have your own domain unless you pay for it. Otherwise, WordPress.org is basically using the software, but it's all your own website, your own hosting, and your own domain. So there are a lot of steps to setting up your own WordPress website. I do a live tutorial of this, so make sure you check it out in the additional resources section. Um, so there's 10 main steps. So the first thing you wanna do is buy a domain and a hosting plan from a provider. There's tons out there. Um, the top ones are HostGator, Bluehost, or GoDaddy. So you can usually get the domain for a year at a time. Um, usually people buy it one to five years in advance, but if, it's, if you only buy it for one year, you have to renew it every year. Um, a hosting plan, that can be paid monthly or in multiple years or just one year at a time, depending on your budget. Um, the next thing you want to do after you have that set up is to install WordPress. So some hosting providers will do this automatically for you, especially if you bought CMS-specific hosting. I know GoDaddy in particular will automatically install WordPress on your site for you. Otherwise, you can download the CMS from WordPress.org and upload it to your hosting plan. From there, you're gonna get set up on WordPress, so you'll have a separate login. It's gonna be yourdomain.com slash wp-admin is where it's, the login is gonna be, and that's how you're gonna access the back end of your site to write content, upload plugins, um, check data, everything like that. Um, and once you log in, you can start installing the themes, which is the design of the site. So some bigger sites will have their own themes designed, but for this module, we're just gonna go over a couple of places where you can buy themes that have already been built for you and then you just customize them. The next step is to add plugins. So there's thousands and thousands of plugins, both free and paid that you can use for almost anything you could imagine. So that can be SEO, um, image effects, uh, social sharing for social media, things like that. WordPress has a really great community with reviews and so you can see what plugins are good and what aren't. So you're gonna format them uh, along with the design theme of your site to make sure it looks how you want, proper branding colors, um, your logo, proper information, just making sure that it looks right before launching. Um, then you'll add the content, which we discussed earlier. So that'll be entered into the pages and then you also tweak any settings as necessary. You're gonna set up the tracking. So that's installing the Google Analytics, like I mentioned earlier. And then finally, you're gonna test, and then once you launch, you're gonna tweak it as you go. So WordPress and you know plugins and themes are always updating as needed. So you'll be updating those um, as they roll out. 